Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Reza. Good morning, everyone. I um, hope you're doing well. Good morning, good morning. Um, so so wow, looking like the news came out yesterday. Very, very nice. I was playing football at the time, but looking like it moved quite nicely. Yeah, so wow. Big push up from Goldie over here, running from 16, so 922 to 956, like 340 pips. Damn! Very nice. Okay, so, uh, just get rid of all that. Okay, GJ's coming up a little bit as well. Just make sure this is all intact. Okay. So. Let's take a look then at news today. So yeah, the only news that we've got today, which is going to be a little bit important, is um, the pound news at twelve o'clock. Yeah, so big pound news at twelve o'clock, um, which probably suggests that GJ is going to probably range until then. Um, but we'll still we'll still analyze the trades um, and do what we normally do. So in terms of GJ, let's take a look, right? So daily time frame closed bearish, really rejecting these highs. Um, there is a minor support there, 148,700. Um, but realistically, if you do reject, we should really get back down to these lows at 156, which is uh, pretty bad. So let's put the daily flip on over here. Let's put the daily flip on. Right there, four hour time frame is bullish right now. Obviously the candles looking like they're pretty small, suggesting that um, it's maybe consolidating a little bit. There is also resistance there, right at 159.500. Let's take a look then at the hourly of the thing. Oh, sorry. Tired today. Um, so 30 minute time frame we do have current candle resistance which is like here right around them areas let's make this a little bit lighter we do have a support as well at 158 oh shit didn't want that 158942 now if we take a look to the left hand side what do we have to work with So, I mean, yeah, well, obviously it's right at 159 at this level. And uh, trying to find where we could get clean candles below. But realistically, I think it's going to be a little bit on the harder side. Until we get below there, really, 158, 200. There we can drive quickly down to 157, 700 level. Um. So if you do get a closure below 158900, yeah, there's support right there. To be fair, that is at 700 though. So it actually does run quite hard, to be fair. So we'll have to see on them low closures. Um, but there's not really the cleanest zone, realistically. Even on the hourly time frame, the support right there. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and the hourly time frame, the support's all the way there. So I think that zone's a little bit chalk, to be honest with you. In terms of buys, uh, let's take a look. So, uh, good morning, good morning, YouTube. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, chat. Just didn't watch in the back test of it for GJ. Recommend watch for newbies. Oh, nice. Did I put it on? Oh, shit. It's on. 
Yeah, wicked. Make sure to go check that out. I kind of wanted to uh, post it now, to be fair. Put it in the middle of the fucking Asian session, but anyway. Um, yeah, so good stuff there. In terms of um, GJ for buys, then let's take a look, right? So, hourly time frame. Yeah, four hour time frame because very bearish. Obviously. Current resistance is here, 159,600. The zone above is wick areas to 800. That's 200 pip zone. Sorry, 20 pip zone. I think above probably one. F oh my god. I think it's probably above one f 160 flat. Could be the most realistic to then get this push back up to these highs, I think. Because for me here, the zone that I want to target, the zone that I like the best is. Is between here because you move so quickly in the areas. So in terms of that, I do think um, a buy above one sixty zero forty would be great. But yeah, do I expect there's going to be a trade on GJ this morning? Probably not because there is news at twelve. So oh my god, I'm yawning a lot this morning. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna look for here. Only really buys above the, the sellers are kind of hard. There's a lot of there's a lot of zones left inside. So that's okay. That's not too bad. We'll see what price does when we get down there. But I do think it's gonna be maybe a little bit slower. I have to wait a little bit lower down. Um, on GJ, in terms of gold, obviously we had such a massive spike yesterday. Um, not spike, so we massive push. Daily time frame has closed bullish now, which is nice. Obviously, kind of expected that in terms of the direction. So 1950 over here coming out. Daily closed bullish above. There's a little bit of resistance there at 1957, which we could. We've already got. We've already got a tap today. Actually, interesting. Four time frame have been closing bearish. They've been kind of sitting around. Projecting a little bit. Obviously, the zone below is very clean, so potential retracements later on would be would be quite interesting. Um, in terms of where those retracements would be, we obviously have a support now, very strong support at uh, one uh, sorry 1950 flat. I do think if you get sells below, you've got clean candles at least to this support down here 1941. So if you do want some sort of retracement, that's a that's a hundred pip retracement to look for, and obviously to come back down to these these levels would be uh would be nice. Back down to ninety thirty two. Uh, so yeah, I think that could be pretty good. I think that could be pretty good. So yeah, sells below for a retracement would be grand. Obviously, I'd want a nice strong closure, a nice top wick. Because obviously we are overall bullish. Sounds below 949.9. Good. So yeah, sell below there. Beautiful zone. 80 pip zone. Would be class. In terms of trend lines and stuff, obviously there's no real trend line. The trend is that it's ranging right now. The whole of Asian session ranged. Uh, but that's to be expected after the news, right? So that's all good. Uh, trade taking on GJ. Okay, let's take a look at your chart. We'll take a look at EJ as well in a second. Let's just take a look at this chart. Okay. GJ closure above on the 30 minute time frame. Close full here due to 30 minute res in the left hand side. Beautiful, well done. Yes, yeah, so you, you you saw that it had close above previous resistance there. Clean candles to the left to the daily flip. The resistance there, good stuff. Very nice. Very very good. What's good, gang? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Um. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, let's take a look in there. Stuff is. This is Loud. 
How was uh, Manchester yesterday? What was their goals like? Ah, they, they fucked them up. They fucked them up. 2 0. Yeah, easy 2 0 as well, eh? They didn't seem to do too much. Let's take a look at EJ. EJ is still console in this range, so I'm not touching it. Yeah. Did you see Chelsea signing? Yeah, and apparently Havertz wanted to leave and they fucked the papers wrong. Which team do you support? I support Newcastle. Gold should go up and GJ down. Um, yeah, potentially. Maybe, maybe. My United versus Newcastle, you're supporting Newcastle and after Newcastle. And I actually think we've got a good chance of winning. I think we. I think we do. Our fans there as well would be sick. Newcastle should sign Harry, my god. Give it a rest. Harry Maguire, hell no. Um, so yeah, obviously overall but overall bullish, right? What I'd probably want is some retracement, maybe some cells taken in the morning, and then take some buys later on. That's probably what I'd look for. Yeah. In terms of FOMC, how would it have gone out? So this is 7 o'clock. I'd probably have a buy stop above there. So yeah, he might have got some in. Um, buy stuff above there. I think it would have been the one. How are the spreads like? Wow, shit. Should push, push down. Ah, to be fair, it was the first. Next half an hour after. Then it started pushing. I saw Dunn took support form in there. It's very nice. It was actually a support as well. Can I mark it up to the left? Side. Um, but yeah, yeah, very, very nice stuff. Also, 30 minute flip as well. Did they want to lose money? FOMC, they want to try and take a trade and lose anything. People on the Zoom, did you? I just stayed, stayed happily together. So yeah, GG, I mean, uh, there's the zone, the clean zones, I mean, there is a maybe clean zone on the hourly, but up above this one, 159,500. However, the daily closing bearish, like that is not the nicest. And the real resistance is up here, 159,670. Roger's gonna risk 100k in FMC, but he got tired and didn't come live. Yeah, man. He was getting tired, boy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a waiting game. I think a lot of this week has been a waiting game. So, it's Thursday now. Taking two trades, one win, one break even. There was maybe some gold trades towards the start of the week. Uh, but right now, I'm still feeling happy about that. Feeling happy about the trade we took yesterday. It worked out beautifully. Finally took its time to get to the lows, which is good for people who held, which is nice. Make sure you like the stream as well, guys. If you haven't already, spam that like button. Takes two seconds out of your day. Just spam, spam, spam. Yeah. So ah, I didn't, I didn't know that, but we posted the simulation. <laughs> I didn't even. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should uh, make it private and then put it back on again. Because why the fuck? I didn't want it to come out today. I wanted to call it today, but later. I mean, schedule. And it doesn't let me do the next fucking day. This is the time zone's GMT as well. It came out six hours ago. Oh, 12 a.m. Oh, fucking hell. 12 p.m. Okay, here we go. That's why. Okay, okay. There we go, right, I've scheduled it now. We 
wicked, wicked. Um, so, yeah, I mean, EJ has definitely been in this zone for, for quite a while now. But the same thing the same thing goes, right? And remember, we need to remember, each day is its own day. And um, if there's opportunities, great. If there's not, then that's also good, you know? What about the discipline, boy? Especially because, like, tomorrow we still do have some news. Obviously, we have the GJ rates today. Tomorrow we have non-farm employment change. Um, so, yeah. So, if you've been profitable this this week, then well done. Have you guys been profitable so far? It's Thursday now. Are you guys profitable? People in the, in the Zoom, do you guys take any more trades other than my others? Or have you been strict with it? I think a lot of people have been pretty strict with it, which is good. Do, do, do. So yeah, obviously still early on, right? It's only 6.47. When the volume starts to kick in here, we can then start to see what we can get on Goldie. A beautiful retracement would be uh, sufficient, sufficient. Is there any chance Gold can correct this move? Yeah. 100%. Yep. I can do, I can do. I actually didn't check. What did the rates come out as? Yeah, so 4.75. They expected 4.75. So when it when price, when the forecast is expected, yeah, and the race retrace was even more um, likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the most likely. Which is good, which is good. Happy about that. Um, last month was good. New new month yesterday. Four trades, two wins, two losses. Fair dues, fair dues. Bullish as fuck for gold and stocks. Yeah, I mean, look how bullish it is. I think Bitcoin as well started to pump back up again, I think. Yeah, look at that. To be fair, it hasn't moved that much, but... It's moved a little bit. It's moved a tiny little bit. Doo -doo. So, 30 minutes are closing bearish. Looking like they are rejecting 9.55, which is good, but... They're still looking like quite a long way. Already broke the previous 4-hour low. Daily sells no bottom wick, so... Yeah, potentially maybe sells later on. Would be half decent. And yeah, as I said, GJ is looking a little bit on the harder side just because of the zones. Um, good sell on Nas last night. Very nice. Very nice. My eyes feel so weak today. I don't know why I'm so tired. I only went to bed early as well, but... Some days you just wake up on the wrong side, eh? The wrong side of bed. Um. Where's she anyways here? Yeah. Not this morning. So yeah, we'll we'll just be patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. Um. Well, people in the chat haven't really talked about their their week so far. How has the week been? I think there's been maybe one trade in GJ. And there's been there's been like three trades in gold if you wanted to take them. Paper trade is some of them. Could have a trace been all the way like fuck. Shit just launched back up, rejected 1903. Pushing all the way back to the highs, 955. It's, it's gonna be mad. We might actually see 2000 again, which could be interesting. It's 
So EJ faking it while kind of rejecting the Asian highs over here. So yeah, there's nothing too much going on at the moment. We can um, we can expect maybe volume to come later on, right? Like an hour's time or something. Hour's time or so. <laughs> But I think even if you come towards the end of this week and you haven't taken too many trades, I think it's a reasonable assumption, right? If you had to mark out the zones and, and look at the news and do a full weekly analysis, you probably would suggest that this week's maybe a little bit slower. Morning, morning, Alex, my man. Morning, morning. Hope you're doing well. Did you take any trades last night? Yeah, I was playing some football. I was playing some five aside. Ooh, we played basketball, nice. Basketball. Mm -hmm. Um, took six trades this week, four wins, two break evens. Very nice, very nice. Goals in Kirkstall? Yeah, yeah, that's what I play. Oh, yes. It's literally right next to where I live. It's literally over the road. Yeah. Thanks for the stream. Appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate you coming up, man. Thank you very much. So, yeah, looking like GJ kind of rejected that. I've come back to the 4 hour flip. No real direction yet. That's okay. Max, have you noticed that the daily candles since 2022 have been far bigger than 2021 and 2020, especially GJ pairs? Yep. That's why I had to go percentage risk, because I was never getting a 10 pip stop on GJ anymore. Yep. Yeah, so I was playing in goal last night. Oh my god. Like, just like when you when you haven't been in goal for so long, and like your, your, just, your re reflexes have just completely gone. Like, if you think about it, like, your day-to-day -day life isn't a fucking flying ball coming past your head. Like it, it's just so hard. Like getting used to it again. Yeah, I was playing goal because my ankle's still a bit fucked. But like when the guys ping at you and you've got to, like move and wow, it's mad. I found it hard to get back into it. Like. Find it pretty damn hard. Um, so yeah, when is that match? I wonder. Where is that? Um, Ma Manchester Newcastle. I think I'm on. Oh, I'm going to holiday by right then. Um, oh, I really hope Newcastle win. What's the poop? What's the, What is the most important in your strategy? Uh, clean candles to the left. Most important thing. Clean candles to the left, because even if your entry is a bit off, if you have clean candles to the left, you normally have a nice zone, which means it gives you gives you a push. If the zone looks choppy to the left, then I don't take anything. And once you get once you get into the rhythm of just looking to the left, it makes life so easy. For example, I want buys below here because this is clean all the way down to 1941. GJ, I don't really want anything because as you can see here, there's just so much traffic everywhere. Here in the 30 rejection wicks doesn't really push nicely there. It kind of fucks around. You can see that easily in the 15s. Um, so that's an area that I don't like. You look below the left hand side maybe these clean candles here but there is support there and a resistance there so when you start to find zones that aren't clean you just leave it would you say most recent price action to the left or everything to the left? most recent price action i'd say everything to the left if, if it's a, a huge strong support yeah like i'd I, like you know i'd take into consideration all of this like, these supports but mainly just the 
what was there before the most recent is very very interesting but yeah man finished the stream yesterday took the exact same trade as Rajat's when you know finding the clean zones both trades that I talked about this week Rajat's taken and I take one of them and one I missed but like sometimes there is clean range to the left but like more to the left there is like a support resistance when do you not pr when do you know price will drive through it and when not when price at, at, at the most recent is pushed through it okay so let's see an example here uh so it's always kind of ranged uh, through there yeah it's just most recent so if i'm looking to take cells like around here i'm looking to the left I'm looking at that support below there. I'm looking at this clean candle. So this is me. Yeah, this is what I like. This is the first time it's been there. Before push there, push there. Um, I'll try to find examples that are a little bit harder. Um, yeah, there's not many been recently. Like here, like look, prices came up bullish here. Should it continue? Well, yeah. Look at the clean candles on the left hand side. Whereas here it was ranging. So. It's just most recent. Then go to men join your mentorship. What does it include? It includes webinars. It includes one webinar added every single week. Uh, two or three simulations added every single week. You've got all access to previous simulation sessions. You have over 50 plus webinars going through from start to finish of how we trade. So just from like the basics, from the, from the key basics, just in terms of entries and, and candles to... To the more complicated things later on uh, and all the webinars also risk management psychology webinars forex entries how to fix your confidence you know there's so much stuff in there okay um and that gets added every week gold five minute trend line uh, red flags webinar gambler mindset webinar when to hold trades so much stuff there um all the homeworks we go through homeworks every, every bi-weekly uh, gold simulations, obviously all the sims have done, GJ simulations, the work spreadsheet from them trades, the daily schedule and like how we kind of work with a daily schedule. Um, and then yeah, you get access to all the, the setups here as well. Um, and then you get the signals every single week. You get access to the Zoom, London and NY, um, which is going to get a little bit louder. People are going to get some mics over here, which is going to be good. Um, and yeah whole community you obviously get access to the chat you get access to to um all that stuff if only 50 pound a month, 12 pound 50 a week if you're taking one trade depending depending on how big your account is you can you can kind of work out the maths so last week and last week we made over five percent so if you've got a thousand pound account um you made 50 pounds last week so i paid for more than the mentorship i paid for more than the mentorship in one if for one month and it did like you know just that week so Based on the trade you took yesterday, isn't this current 30 minute the same rejection, which means potential sells? Uh, potentially. Potentially. The only difference here is the zone is a little bit smaller. It's kind of ranging in the area. It's not like it's flying. But yeah, I mean, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Only difference here is that the hourly current time is going to close like meh. I think it could be just consolidating. Whereas look at the hourly in this one. The hourly close bearish, like solidly bearish below. This so looks like it's maybe a little bit ranging now. But we'll see. So 30 minutes closed. No top wick. Just kind of flew already. Didn't really close below the resistance there, but it's interesting. Yeah, I think this is just a consolidation range because... This can't kind of even close below resistance, but then this zone from here to here is not even worth it. And that's the zone, so. Yeah. Like, you look at the four hour, four hours ranging as well. Hourly's just kind of pottering around. Yeah, nothing too much yet. Maybe a potential trend line later on. There's a lot of resistance there. That one hour, which kind of scares 
living shit out of me. But that is also okay. 126 people are ready for this 7 a.m. Amazing work. Amazing work. What's this guy messaging me for? What's he saying? Paper trade to GJ159414. Very nice. You're going a little bit higher up, eh? Yeah, 15 minute. Very nice, very nice. Should have taken some profits now, I think. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at Goldie's coming up over here. A little bit of a rocket. Oh, this doesn't look half bad, eh? Will you take the trend line retest? Potentially. See how this closes. Yeah, I think that would be uh, pretty nice. So it must stops be. I don't know if it's going to retest the trend lines quite far away. Eh? I think it maybe retest this level here. Stops would be like 25 pips. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, very nice. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Because look at this four hour now, it's starting to push again. Yeah, this is nice. If we get a retest here, I might trade this trade, guys. Do -do. We shall see. Yeah, I'm not really asked about the new bottom weight, to be fair. I think it's, I think that's okay. So we have to wait for some retracement over here if we get any. If not, then it may just blast off without us. Do, do. Bro, you have gold and sells below 1949, but if you go to the 30 time frame, you're not worried about the support to the left. No. Support's there. Yeah, looking like this is still going to continue here. Come on, make a little wick first, you prick. No more? Oh, no, no, I don't care. I don't care that far to the left. I don't care. Just current candle. 
current where price is right now. That's what I care about. Yeah, boy. And this gold's gonna go. Do, do, do. No, don't go. Yeah, huge volume. Wanted a little wick there, but unfortunately not. I think we're just going to continue here. We'll see. Yeah, I think we missed that. Well, I didn't really miss it. I just couldn't really get an entry, to be honest. That came out of fucking nowhere as well. Jesus Christ. This five minute time frame just ripped. Huge volume. Four hour time frame's got a good wick to fill for 1957. It's gonna easy tap that, it looks like. Um. But yeah, I kind of want this next canal to rip down first, tap me in, and then get to at least a high. Then I could take my pips there, you know, like 17 pips or so. Fair dues, fair dues. Look at futures, order flow data, my guy. The, the info is there. I don't need to look at that. For, uh... It looked good in the five minute breaks. So that's why he, why he took it. Nice. Yeah, how much we have stops like there? Twenty eight pips. Try and go break even towards these resistances like here, like nineteen fifty six. So like there, I'd go break even play around them areas. That's what I would do. And there we go. What a racket. So the Yeah, nice man. Nice, nice, nice. Let's take a look then to the left hand side. What do we actually have above this area? Oh, we've got a clean zone, boy. We've got a clean zone. Above nineteen fifty seven closure above. We got a clean, clean zone. So potentially 30 minute closure above would be nice. Some retracement maybe. Oh, it's such a shame we didn't get that fucking, well, it didn't retrace. It's a bit annoying. That's all good though. Where the fuck are we? Oh, I think I just moved that now, for fuck's sake, one second. Yeah, I did. So yeah, above this kind of area here, we've got such clean candles above. Great, great stuff. Let me lock that in. So yeah, beautiful buys above would be would be sufficient. If you guys did get in early there somehow, your runners could be could be quite good here. The zone above is hella nice. Was looking for the same closure and continuation London over volume with the upside. Yeah. Yep. I think if you get that closure above, you're gonna be Gucci. So we'll wait for that. Just a quick question: If we took an impulse entry because of anticipating volume of 1954, where would you have been a good place to put your stops? What? Where were we looking? I would have used this can this candle low. 952.16. Ah, it's fine. I couldn't grab anyway. No bottom wick on the hourly and just filled. Yeah. 
Yeah. I just wanted a little bit of those trees from there. You could have got in there one to one, but... I'd rather wait for the lower we can get me more. A little bit of it. Advantaged in my trade. But wow, good stuff. This daily time frame is on rocket fuel over here. This zone above as well is, is nice. Very, very nice. GJ sells below 158.950. Um, I think it's all right. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's, I wouldn't say it's the best. I mean, it's, the zone's not even that good either. So I might wait for a little bit further below. Daily still got no bottom wick, but it's because it's very, very bullish, right? So yeah, we'll we'll see. We will see, we'll see how we close. Let me take a look how this looks like on the 30 minute time frame. Let me just make this less gigantic. Yeah, above there. Beautiful, beautiful. Max, should we close full on gold? Hell no. I'm looking at getting some buys, brother. <laughs> Hail to the no, no, no. I'd hold some on. This zone above is clean and it's fucking a huge zone. It's a huge zone. It's a massive zone. Yeah, putting away for the 30 to close. This zone above is, 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 is gigantic, so. There's no rush, no need for me to get in early. Um, I really, really wanted that five minute though, man. Fuck, maybe I should just pull the trigger, but you know, I just wanted then it kind of to make a lower wick, and I would have gone in. It didn't need to. The volume was there. It just went nope. Fucking hell, this is rocking. Rocking, man. Rocket man. Let's put this on. Why the 30, not the 15? Because the volume is there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think. Well, anyway, I don't know where I'd put my stops. My stops would be 70 pips. So I need some sort of retracement. <laughs> So I'm hoping that this next 15 can retrace, maybe make a little wick, and then I can use that stop. But maybe not. We'll see, because that is a very strong closure. Your turnaround was a little conservative. Nah, it was it was nothing. You need to stop thinking about oh your your trend line was X Y Z. No, it's what I've back tested and that's what I wanted. It didn't turn out. That's fine. I don't just change my strategy because of one trade. 
Gotta remember that. Yes, nut down, please. If this does make a nice little wick, then the break of the high I might take. It's just where to put your stops. I wait for 15 celery or 5 minutes celery. Yeah. Where would your stops be? That is the question of the day. Probably 1956. Below that 5 minute. Come on, push a little further, boy. Push a little further. Yeah, I think this is just going to continue. Whatever. Whatever. I can't get in. My stops. I don't know where I'd put my stops. What do you think of GJ? GJ looks like shit. Just ranging. Right, here's Goldie flipping. Yeah, I don't know where I'd want to put my stops, man. Do, 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 do. Why not use current candle? Because current candle, look, see, if you just use current candle there, you'd be in drawdown and then you'd lose the trade. Current candle is the most ballsy move. I, I don't take current candle anymore, unless it's a celery play. Because look, there, if you just got the flip there, you'd, you'd probably lose this trade now. Have you ever worked a normal job? Nah, I worked loads of normal jobs, yeah. Chinese restaurant, worked at Nando's, was a paper boy. Was a paper. I opened the paper shop when I was 16. I had the keys to the shop when I was 16. So, yeah, I've worked loads of jobs. I started working when I was 12. So, Young G. Yes, sir. <laughs> you go buy after make support max. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see. I might want to wait for this 30 just so we close above. Um,. Or if this makes it a more aggressive low wick, then I'll use this current low. But I want it to push down a little bit further, and then I can use current candle. But current candle like that, when it hasn't retested anything, is just a disaster. Max, could we wait for support forming? Yep. If you're scared about taking these buys, all you've got to do is just wait for it to launch, and then you can wait for some support forming, 100%. Never trade counter trend, Alex. Yeah, unless we close back in the zone. Never, ever, 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 ever. It slapped way too hard in it. Did you see the Bitcoin pump? Yeah, I saw a little pump. Only because of the Fed news. Uh, FOMC. FOMC was interesting. Come on, Goldie. Just rip down a little bit. There we go. Rip, 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 rip. Just push down a little bit further for fuck's sake. Push. Buy stop will you end demand manually? Probably buy stop. Yes, push, 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 push. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to watch it, but if you start retracing and coming back and breaking the previous high, I'm going to take the trade. Probably. <sighs> and hopefully, if this closes like this, then we could have a celery play on the 30 minutes, which would be even nicer. Buy stops over the 15. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We are we, we are dropping quite hard. And can you see that the 30 is coming below the, the level? So, yeah, we've got to see how this reacts. But, yeah, I mean, if this starts pumping and flipping back up, you're going to have a probably a nice entry, which is good. And stop loss isn't, isn't bad either. Right, I'll quickly go to the toilet for two seconds. Are you going to trade GJ News today? No, sometimes GJ News is a little bit harder to trade. I don't only trade gold news, yeah. GJ News can sometimes um, be a little bit on the painful side. It can it can not really drive in one direction for a lot of it. Yeah, it can struggle sometimes. Ooh, Dr. Dollar just got slapped. <laughs> You just try to take the buy instantly. Uh, hi, mate. Just realized you are in Leeds. I am too. Just came across you via Raja. You full time trading? Yeah, my man. Oh, you're in Leeds. Another Leeds boy. Yeah, I've been full time for like, like a year and a half. Dan Max, just woke up to trade and see a big on the 7 a.m. Can gold camel. What happened? Wait, a big what? A big push? Yeah, a big push, man. I, I tried getting on the five minute trend line, but there's no retest, which is a bit annoying. Um, and now we're starting to retrace, so looking looking interesting. I still think later on these buys above are going to be so nice because it's so clean. Oh, Dollar not in yet. He's waiting as well. Fair. Hmm, is that what he says, or is it? Let's <laughs> get the fucking profits on. So yeah, it's looking like it's dumping a little bit here. And that's why you got to wait for a closure. Nice little wick. Max, please do magic keys giveaway. Oh, I have to. May have to. So five minute time range close very bearish, right? So this is this is huge bearish. So I, I gotta wait now, I think, here for a 30 minute closure above. So this next can if this doesn't wick up in the next five minutes. It's not looking good, Brev. How much should my stops be right now? 36 pips, yeah, it's quite a lot.
so we'll see we'll see because the break of the high here will be a salary play and that'll be class looking like it's already retracing quite well which is good it's actually just tapped the previous resistance you can see here the bodies starting to reject which is nice Okay, so I've got a buy stop over here because I, I just I just want to make sure I've got it on just in case I miss it. Um, yeah, stops are a little bit larger, but that's when I want to go for more of the zone, right? Because in two minutes time that is retracing and um, yeah. So my stop loss right now, like thirty eight pips. Ah, it's not even that. So yeah, buy stop above the current candle high. And then this is obviously going to be a celery plate. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what the score is. We'll see what the score is. Hey man. In your set of spreadsheets, where you have win rate written, if it says eight percent win rate, are you f are the full winners or also break evens also included as wins? No, break evens are not included as wins. That quote includes break evens. Where is your stop loss? Current candle low. Yeah. However, if this next candle opens, makes a low wick, and then flips, breaks the high, I'll use current candle because that is what I want to use for salary plays. How many pips? Bro, come on, just fucking measure it, bro. It's 40 pips nearly. You're in the same win rate? Yeah, well, I just, I've, I've been bashing through the, through the December months, just really refining it, and, um, yeah. Are you going bullish on gold? Yes. Back it again with film. Your mum is in there. What's TP, bro? We'll see. We'll see how it pushes. Um, normally, you'd get the data to the left hand side, right? So let's just take a look and see what happened last time when it pushed. So when we pushed above, we did drive all the way to 1970. So 1970 for me would be would be a great target. Um. Where would TP1 be? Probably here, to be honest with you. This area there. And then TP2 would be 970 flat. Because this zone is pretty clean. The only reason I'm doing that is because there's a little bit of resistance there. Slash support, a little bit of support there. Same thing there as well. Yeah. So yeah. Since bullish candle has no bottom wick, can we hope gold may continue bullish up? We'll see, we'll see. So if this does break the high, I'm gonna use current candle lows. So whatever low this is. If it breaks previous low, I'm leaving it. So yeah, so I'm kind of wanting for me here. So like that. I don't like the 30 close. Yeah, I mean, it didn't close. I didn't close above the resistance, but it closed above you know, current Asian. That's fine. I still think if we get a drive, we're going to get at least in some some area of profit, and then I can deal with it then. But if we break the low here, it's not looking good. The five minutes rejecting, we come back below this zone. Um, so we'll see. 
It may have to go retest in the 30. We'll see. We'll see the score. It'll be good to wait for London Open. Uh, we'll see. I think there's enough volume at the moment. You think you can still be very profitable with a 50 point win rate? Yeah, it just means your R to R is going to be higher. That's all it is. Are you still double lotting? No, I'm not double lotting this one. No, no, no. I only double, I only double lot closure back in the zones, really. Like yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I made some good money. I don't mean for the three. So yeah, GJ kind of messing around. Did freak out that zone again. Nice. Morning, morning. Just joined. I hope you're well. Where's your stop loss? It'll be current kind of low, but I'm not going to lie. If this breaks this low here, I think I'm going to leave it. Because what I was looking at on the five minute there is that the support was forming here. If we break this low now, we're not holding support. and We're actually rejecting. Can you see that this five minute time frame came up? Tap the resistance, rejected. To potentially come down low. So we'll see. I'll give it a couple more minutes to see what the score is, but it looks like it is rejecting that resistance, which is fine. Um, so yeah. 42 likes, guys. Make sure you like the stream if you haven't already. 200 people live. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, all you got to do here is probably wait a little bit longer if you don't, uh, if you don't reject it here. Thank you very much. Just couldn't work it out. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, if we do break these lows, we're going to probably come back down to 1954 here. Do, do, do. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, interesting. That Bitcoin's picking up a little bit after the little news. It's fair. So yeah, I think today GJ is probably going to be a little bit slower until 12 o'clock that news comes out but that is all good so it's just sitting right at that level just want to see this push what entry and the break of the current 30 minute high maybe quick fill Break of the current 30 minute high, you could do, but it's, I don't know, I, I feel it's just still below this resistance. If I want to, the only reason why I want to take this trade is because the celery play is a trade that I can get into. It can be quite aggressive when it happens, and I can get into profit very quickly, and then I can just be break even. And if it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, I get break even. Getting in the flip before it has broken above this resistance again can just retest and then continue back down. So, I think for me, the only thing I'm looking at is this celery, just because of the fact that if you get into some profit, it's going to be very quick profit, and then we can we can go break even and um, then sit on our asses, really. Is three to four pairs good? Uh, well, I think maybe three to four pairs is maybe a little. Well, we we I take three pairs. I think um, I think you should stick with two at the start. Um, then three maybe if you if if you've got a bit of time and you've mastered the other two, but I think two at the start is the best. Two at the start because you because normally, especially GJ and Gold, normally they have a day on and a day off or a session on and a session off. For example, in the morning GJ might do nothing, and in in the morning here Gold there might be a trade. In the afternoon there might be a GJ trade and none and Gold. There's normally like a good one trade per session which is good maybe not maybe not as much but you know that kind of um, scenario and as I said if you just know the pairs so well it just makes life much easier I'm a supply and demand trader but if I choose one two pairs then I can't find entry supply and demand trader what are they again just like are they like order blocks and stuff decision I don't know. broke 15 lows yeah but not 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 massively so I'm still I'm still okay at the moment I can always delete it though at the time I just want to see how these next candles print on like the fives and stuff 
We will see. We shall see. Um, GJ Gold, that's enough. Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. 100%. So yeah, finish off with a little break even there. Still on a nine win streak at the moment, which is nice. Nice nine win streak. Could have maybe been about 10 or 11 if we took them gold trades yesterday, but sorry, on the day before. But that's all good. Still a nine win rate's better than nothing. How much percentage risk were you getting when you were doing a funded account? Still like 1.4. Yep. Yeah, still 1.4. Next 10 to 50 minutes should start moving, yeah. You missed a huge move for FOMC. Yeah, I mean... I don't really care. It's the same thing as what Roger said in the story today. I don't really give a shit. It's fine. Where would I have got in? I would have got a buy stuff above there, 1933. Um, would I have got much out of it? Well, I probably would have gone break even up there. This might have wicked me out with spread, so it's all right. And that last, I was playing football anyway. That is all fine. Still respecting this resistance. So you can you see here, I know there's a resistance there to the left hand side, but current resistance, can you see you're holding it? If we do break below it and come back in the zone, then it is rejecting these highs. And then I'll have to wait for some more candles. So what I mean by more candles is, you know, maybe this next, if this closes bearish and this next one like doing that, and then I'll take the buy there. That'd be like a support forming. Push Goldie. Push Goldie. So there we go. Coming down now here. I'm going to wait for a little bit more confirmation now. So delete buy stop for me. Oh no, Alex. Oh fuck. Alex did it. Oh, that sucks. Um, let's put that on. Oh, that's the worst, man. That's like a dagger to my heart. Someone read the buy stoppers, just buy. He just took a fucking buy. <laughs> like there. Shit. If gold closes back in the range, would you be selling? I think it's too bullish, man. And this zone is maybe not so clean. I think I'm, yeah, I think it's too bullish, bro. Yep. Too bullish. Too bullish. Goldie's still messing in there. EJ's still messing around. So yeah, we'll just wait a little bit longer here. 90 minutes left for the next 30.
I think that was when it was new funded as well. Lord have mercy. Forty nine likes, guys. Make sure you like it for the stream. If you guys haven't already. Also, yeah, make sure you go follow the Instagram. Instagram is right there. Go tap the follow. We always, we always post all the trades there. So even if you can't come to the streams, you can see the trade. Like that was yesterday's trade that we took. Um, yeah, make sure to make sure to come on. Give us some support. I also say, guys, if you do have like a Forex Instagram account, make sure to tag me in it or tag me in you being on streams. I'll always repost you. I want to see some cool setups. Always make sure to do that. I want to see some cool setups. Yeah, I've actually my zip ties are here today, so I'm going to zip tie all my wires behind. So it makes it look a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to do some videos and stuff. Um. So yeah, I got loads of questions for the Q and A that I'm gonna do. So that'll be good. But yeah, guys, if you guys do want to have a simulation session, there is one coming today at 12 o'clock on my YouTube channel, GJ Simulation May 2022 Full Strategy, showing you what trades I look for, why I look for them. Uh, so make sure to go check that out in um, yeah about four hours time. There's also a previous one there, this April one. Um, this one here let me just share it to you guys right now just so you can go watch that this is the gold one very really important gold uh, it was april as well so it's really really good month showing you the clean candles the clean zones where you want to be looking to take trades um oh yeah and it looks like we're starting to move again in terms of um what's it called subscribers which is good um nearly hitting that ten thousand boy yeah nine thousand six hundred fourteen so make sure to run them up as well so yeah, closing in a minute's time. This 15 minute time frame is rejecting that resistance, which is interesting. I think now I'm probably still going to have to wait for this next 30 to close. To be honest with you, which is also be at 8 o'clock. So that is what I'll do. That is what I'll do. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, let me just take a look at, so yeah, just the same thing. Being able to just identify that this is not a good area is just so, so important to do. So, if, if, especially if you forget, like, just make sure you just write it in, you know, no trade zone, leave it alone. There's nothing really appealing to that zone for me at all. So you just gotta look somewhere else. Phoenix and gold sellers, you think this is going to be a gold fake out? Uh, maybe, yeah. Well, it's closing now. 15 seconds time. It's still very, very bullish, though. And the zone below is not the nicest. I don't know. We'll see. Fifteen has closed below. Clean candle to fill, so... Gia looks painful, yeah. It doesn't look the nicest, does it? Yeah. One second. Uh, two minutes, guys.
So yeah, 12 minutes left for this kind of closure. It's going to give us a bit more of an indication of where what things are going on. I still think we're very much bullish, so I think a closure back in the zone in this example doesn't doesn't make too much sense. I mean, you know, I, I just think the, the, it's way too bullish in the higher time frames for me to take a sell right now. You know what I mean? Like easy price prices just came up, retested, could make some support here, and then your sales will be absolutely fucked. Um, yeah, it's just that thing of you know making sure if you're taking the trades all the time. Oh shit! Um, why is it just gone off? Oh, that's why it's it's on. It's on. Um, you got to think about the bigger picture. If you took that trade a hundred times, how many times would you would you win it? And for me here, I haven't seen any trade that, you know, you know, I think it's very much even here, especially how high we are. Um, hey, Max, if this 50-minute candle closes back above the resistance at 1955.8, I think it's okay to take a buy in the 30-minute salary. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that would be pretty good. I think that would be nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only 60 like guys and 100, 200 people in. Make sure to put a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. If you guys been here for the last two weeks, three weeks, you'll be up fucking shitloads. So, yeah, you're passing funded accounts as well. Shout out to Alex and stuff. You just passed them, which is good. Very nice. After how long do you think you get the hang of this strategy? Very simple. Very, very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. But to get the hang of it is really from back testing it. And seeing it work out again and again. I'm going to back test in session right now. I, you literally. If you see me in NY session, after you finish NY, I load it up, I take the trades. I barely even like have any thought process in it now because it just doesn't. I don't need it. Just find my clean zones, wait for a closure, wait for the setup. It's very, very logical. You you mark up your zones, you find your zones of interest, you then go to yourself, what trades in my setups that I've got in this in these pictures here um, are gonna be sufficient for this trade that I want. And then you pick one and then you're done. It's very simple. It doesn't have to be hard, it just has to be a routine and regiment. Just showing up here every day and back testing. Yeah. Showing up here back testing. The one, th the one thing that takes a long time to learn though is being able to leave it. Being able to leave a day, a full day. Being able to leave a full day is like, people, people find that really hard. Okay. Because when people are at a normal job or any other job that, you know, they, they're there to get paid. But sometimes in trading, you don't get paid. You can maybe be sitting on the charts for three days and you, you're not getting paid. Okay. And to people outside of trading, that looks horrendous. And they're like, what? You've been sitting on the charts? I was saying yesterday, Caitlin, like, I think it was on Monday. I didn't take any trades. She goes, Max, what did you do today? You know, how I was trading? I go, oh, I didn't take any. She goes, what? You didn't make any money? I go, no. <laughs> But you need to be able to take them days and know that you're doing it for a proper reason. And the only way you do that is by going to the back testing. I have certain times where I have three or four days of not checking any trades at all. But as I said again and again, it doesn't matter. When it comes to the end of the month and you're up fucking 15, 20%, no one cares. No one cares that you sat on your ass for five days because you're sticking with the strategy. So always remember that. The amount of times that when I was younger, I'd be sitting on a pair all day trying to find a bloody trade and I'd be sitting for like three hours and I'd be like, oh fuck it, I'll just go for this cheeky trade. Lose it and now and now it's even worse. I've done a d I've done a full day and now I've lost money. It's even worse. So genuinely if you if there's no setups there, no clean candles, no areas of interest, just sack off the day and come tomorrow. Very, very simple. Very, very, very simple. Right, that's an Instagram clip. Booyaka. Um, are those setups online or is it for your program? It's for my mentorship, mentorship program, yeah. 
Could some support falling on the 15 be good to fill previous highs? Potentially, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking maybe that 30 minute salary play break, that high could be interesting in seven minutes time if we don't get it. But I still think that's just probably going to close bullish here. And then we'll have to see maybe some support forming. So like what I mean by this is that if this 50 minute close is bullish like this, hopefully the next one can make a lower wick. I'm going to get in a buy on the flip, stop loss below. To continue bullish tp1 probably there if you want to tp2 will be there so something like that because it just be support forming what setup does this look like in ours looks like oh shit looks like this one see Price is broken above. Prices came and retested. Closed bullish again. This is the confirmation candle. This one here. And you get in on the next candle. Come back to the highs. There's a good 80% chance. And then furthermore, especially with this clean zone. Wow, I might have to hold a little bit more. <laughs> 50 minute onion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, nice EJ trade after the previous statement. It closed below support. Day done. Runner probably going to get destroyed now. Okay. Let's take a look. Thirty minute closure below. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I wouldn't like it too much. And the reason is that the only reason is, Mark, is because... It's closed below this level, but if you look to the left hand side, how many el what else do we have to deal with? I know, like, you know, we always use current, but what else do we have? Well, resistance there, resistance there, resistance there, resistance there, resistance there, resistance there, support there. So if I take that into account, this then zone gets much smaller. Like, you can have one there, you can have resistance there, you can have resistance there. It gets a little bit choppier for me. That was my that would be my only cause of concern. It's a very strong area. But good stuff. Close you below. Top wick flip. Bob's your uncle. In and out quick. Nice, Marky, nice. Good lad. Break even quick. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm two years of chasing strategies and I'm tired of it. Yeah, you just you just need a you need to find the light. All of the strategies go to one thing, and it is just clean candles to the left. I do find it interesting how some people will join different strategies and different people when they haven't even backtested it themselves. Like, just, just put some backtesting into it. I'm generally serious. Either do backtesting with the group. If your group or mentorship doesn't do backtesting with you, with you guys, and mate, they're, they're, they're ripping you off. If they're just giving you signals and streams, they're fucking ripping you off, man. You need you need the simulations. You need other stuff. It's just it's not fair. I think simulations is a massive part. If you don't know how to simulate, don't know how to backtest, you it's fucking useless. I generally think it's like it's like putting someone in a car in Gran Turismo and tell them to, you know drive around that track and then putting them in a real car car on a track. It's just completely different. You're not gonna have the confidence, you know. You know how to drive, you know you know how to work, you know the steering wheel and the pedals. But you know, you're not gonna have the confidence to do it on a real track. Whereas if you do it on a back testing software and you can literally see you it working out, the confidence is there and then things get much easier. Is Phoenix still in this trade? Let's see if you can uh Hope to get in. The candles are getting very small. Very, very small. Roger took a buy at 5.30 candle when the 30 minute broke a previous candle. Wait, what? Is this today?
Yeah, it's a nice... Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't actually see it. But, yeah, it's 30 minute closure above. Some people in the chat already put it. This It was this chart here. Oh, I missed it. 30 minute closure above. So, look at this. 30 minute closure above. Clean counts to the left and side. Even these ones here, they push very quickly, so... Wait for the closure, get in on the flip, stop loss below. TP, probably the daily flip, this resistance there. Again, where did he close? Yeah, literally there. So, why? Because next resistance is there. Beauty. So he got in literally on this 6 o'clock closure. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the charts by then. Oh, nice. Just bought the mentorship. Best way to learn. 100%, my man. I'll add you to the G drive in a second. Um, Phoenix FX is in gold cells again. Yeah, it's fine. That's all good. That's all good. Good morning, Michael. Oh, Michael's been skiing over here. Michael's been skiing. Let's see. Uh, yeah, wow. Look at them views. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, let me send you another video. Oh. With the road. With the road. <laughs> Wait. Very, very nice. So, yeah, Goldie not closing above. It's probably going to drop here, but I want to wait for some more closures. So, I will. I'll wait for more closures. So yeah, 30 minute close bearish, but it didn't close below resistance, so the bias can still work out. Um, so, yeah. Look at these candles as well. They're getting a little bit messy, so i got to wait for some more strong candles to close again. And then we should be good. GJ was solidly bearish, but very close to four-hour support. We'll tap 1954.4, then we'll reject. Hmm. Interesting. We will see, we will see. So yeah, just going to wait for some more candles here, guys. Very simple, very simple. 50 minutes, close bullish. Only weak, obviously. If it breaks that low, it should drive down a little bit, but I don't know if I want that sell. If this 30 minute close bearish below, then I would be, I'd be, I'd be more entitled for the sells. I delete the sound. There's no music now. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That that's windy as hell. How high up yeah. are you there? Fucking hell. Uh, 160, 160, I think. Wow. 1,600 meters. Wow, nice, man. Where, where is that? In Romania. Ah, nice. Beautiful, yeah. I do miss my skiing. I do miss yeah. my skiing. It's very relaxing. Yeah. I'm going to crack software effects and backtest today. 100%, man. Just put in the work. Just load up a day. Bash it out. It's good shit. Wow, what a resort. Very nice. Ah, beautiful. But the wind was too powerful, man. <laughs> oh, 100% you need justice. <laughs>
Pyromania 3 Top G. 3 Top G. Uh, my skin is so hard, I always fall applying brakes a lot. <laughs> nah, you just gotta get used to it, man. I'm a fucking pro skier, me. I love, love it. I just, I, if I'm going down a, a slope, all I'm looking at is where's the fucking biggest jump. <laughs> there we go, Goldie coming up. It's just range at the moment, though. There's nothing too much about it. I just gotta wait a little bit longer. The celery play actually, oh, the celery play doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna have to take the celery play, guys. Guys, I'm gonna take it. 1957.46. I forgot about the celery. Nineteen fifty-five flat. So yeah, so we play over here, guys. Break of the high. Obviously, we've got London volume, which is great as well. Let me just get rid of all this shit. We can refocus on this. So yeah, stop loss is going to be current candle low, which is going to be like 23 pips. That's great. Sorry, I'm just missing someone. Beautiful. So yeah, buy stop, break of the previous 30 minutes. Got a nice wick fill. Do you manage risk or impulse or wait for it to close? Um, We'll see. I mean, if, if, if things don't work out, I'll I'll manage risk when we close. But I'll be pretty much break even here if we break the high, to be honest, very quickly. Um, So yeah. Stop loss is going to be there. 1955. We'll see for we'll see for TP. I might I might try and hold this a little bit longer here. We will see. We will see. <sighs> oh. Okay, we put in. Open this drives pretty much instantly. Down, down, down. Buy the seat at seat. Yep. I about the 30 resistance. Nah, that's why the celery's there, brother. Yeah, 
Great stuff. So pushing here. Very nicely. And we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll see how far this drives up. I may close 80% at the high. Um, but we may also hold. I just want to see this push. I think it's all down to you, right? If you want to take positions off, go for it. But I kind of feel if we get past that high, we're going to we're gonna get a stinking trade here. Stops to break even? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I don't think so. Five minutes looks good to continue to the high at least. Phoenix risk managed over here. Okay, we're pushing good. But pushing real good. Getting the halfway point, so I'm going to go break even. Uh, yeah, we'll go break even now. Fuck it. And there you go. That's kind of how you get into the Surrey player, right? Zero drawdown. You just get the push. And then if it wants to drive, great. I do know that this is a rejection area. So, you know, I also take that into consideration. But um, hopefully this can just drive. Do you know what? Do you think I should go break even? Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Is the halfway point though? Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I'll leave it break even. Come on, push! Do you know what? I'm not going to go break even yet. Yeah, I just I just feel I feel that this this move is going to is going to push and I'm going to hit break even just in the last bit and then I'm going to fucking be vexed. I think I still think this move is really really good, so If you do want to go break even though, go for it. I just want to give it a little bit more room here. Because realistically, this five-minute time frame is because bullish above resistance here. This should drive. I just don't want to get hit out. Yeah, I just want this five minutes to make that low wick. And then start to push again. And then... Um, we'll be grand. Push! Listen to your warrior. Push. Here we go. Right. I think we're just going to go break even again now here. Because I'm looking at the one minute. Come on, just run up a little bit longer.
Right, I'm definitely going break even now. Okay, I'm just looking at the one minute time frame and I'm you know I'm liking the driver getting now. If we then reflip and break these lows, I'm gonna take some drawdown and fuck that. And there we go. Break even out. Very good. Do want this to continue, but in terms of a salary play, I got to half of my trades. In terms of stop loss, that's normally for me the, the, the level I take. So, for example, here, stop loss was 23 pips. I was up 14. So, on all of my simulations, I always put my stop loss to break even after the halfway point. So, after like here, it would be like 12 pips. So, that's just how it is. Now, that's, now that I've got a break even, I'll watch it fly. Yeah. What you can do, though, is wait for an extra 15 closure here. We'll see. Ah, oh, this is gonna run, isn't it? Motherfucker. <laughs> ah, it's just annoying though. With your rules though, you gotta stick with your rules. Um, I enter now. Oh, nice. Well, 50 minute time frame is gonna close very shortly. I just think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's still f it's 50 minutes into the hourly. It's not like it's just, it's far, but it's um. Just such a nice setup on that 30, but we'll see. We'll see if it has the juice. Uh, so, So yeah, I got to around about f uh, 14 pips, but I really wanted the wick fill. Um, so let's move on. Let's take a look at GJ. Still not, yeah, still not doing too much. EJ, nothing here. And Goldie's kind of doing one here. I still think this is going to continue, to be honest. But um... so yeah, how did we manage? Well, we had obviously had our stop down here. When we came to 14 pips profit, stop loss to break even, and we were Gucci. Well, what, the, what up, Dr. Dollar? How, how is my boy doing? Yeah, looking at these goldy, goldy buys over here. Got into a little bit of a trade there. Um, let's just add this on. I feel the, pu the push is maybe a little bit slower than I'd want. But it's still holding that level. I still think this should, should potentially drive, but I gave it enough opportunity. And with a salary play, with a break of the previous high, especially in the 30 minute, you need the drive straight away. If it fucks around, it's like, ah, I'd rather not. So we'll see. The 50 minute time frame closed. Closed bullish with a big rejection with the, to the upside. Not the best. So probably best to wait here now for a 30 closure. Yeah, a little 30 closure. Would be nice. 15 still got no bottom wick. Interesting. How do the hourly close, actually? Yeah, hourly still close strongly above. So it still looks good. Close 50. Oh, very nice. 50 running. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. Obviously, there is news at 12 o'clock in like four hours time. We will have to see. We will have to see. Um... Ooh, it's Phoenix in two trades. Fuck, I know. Right, he's on gold, yeah. Interesting. 80 likes, guys. Make sure you like the stream. I, I know it didn't work out as, as much as we want. I still think it may just play out here. 
but that's how you get into a celery play setup. So if you want to know what a celery play is, it's actually after Don here. What the fuck is that? I oh, know. Um, but it looks like this. Ah, oh, here it's gonna go now. Fucking prick. Uh, this one. Cannot close his bearish break of the high bosh. That's what we were looking at. Where can I find the screenshots? On the driver, man. I'm, I'm going to add you to the driver in a sec. Uh, gold, you fucking arsehole. Yeah, and here is our 20 pips. Yep. Literally just tapped us as well. Didn't even like do too much in the tap. Yeah. I held very, very nice, very, very good. Yeah, I think that's TP1 there at the at the high. Good stuff, good stuff. Very nice, very nice. Um let me just add this guy. Gold is tricky these days and requires nerves of steel. Nah, it's just it's just salaries for me. I like getting in profits and I like just seeing if it pushes. This one it took a little longer towards the more the 50 minute candle as well. Good stuff, so coming mm -hmm. higher up. Hi Michael. The retracement was too, too much, 14 pips. Yeah man, I fought in fist fuck that. It was nine or ten. We keep our stoners in yeah. the first place, but 14. Exactly, this brother. Was almost TP1. Yep. So let's see if this can continue after as well. What should be the target? 1963. No, the left yeah, it's clean, brother. Oh, that's so annoying, man. That fucking level would have been so nice to hold as well. Fucking prick. Five minute close, so strongly bearish as well here. That's when it tapped me out. Do you know how we trade with Monty? I think he just made his money and dipped. Damn, Mac, it's unlucky breaky and classic breaky and then put. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. It's not unlucky. It's not unlucky. There's nothing unlucky about it. Every trade I've been in for the past 10 trades has been zero drawdown, so. Apart from... Maybe one. So, we're all good, we're all good. Maybe another trade with 30 minute close above. Yeah, I think it was going to go before then, to be honest, but... We'll see, we'll see. Better break even than draw down. Yeah, exactly. And it's like we, pu we pushed a 14 pips. It's not like it was like 6 or 8. It was 14 pips. Stop loss was only 20, so. Just how it is. So, yeah, we'll wait for this next 30 minute closure. See what we can get there. Break even or a blessing or lucky getting slipped 30 pips because none no calendar news came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, break evens are a blessing, man. But there we go, there's the move to the high. We did take some off there probably, especially when it starts ranging there. So stop loss is twenty-four pips. TP one would have been yeah, like twenty pips, so not bad, not bad. I look like it's going to reject anyway. Oh, Phoenix is going to be some drawdown over here. But in terms of taking trades, come back to the high. This could be a double top now. Too quick on the break even. It is not worth it. Bro, I'm telling you right now, it 100% is. <laughs> I have back tested so many times. And the halfway. So if your stop loss is 30 pips and you're up 15, break even. Because what I've seen is sometimes it gets to 20, 30 pips in it and then rejects pretty hard. 
in this example, you know, it didn't work out. It's fine. Um, if EJ closes back in the zone, we can take a fake out entry. What do you think, Max? Nah, this zone is choppy, bro. No direction. I know what you mean now, close you back in the zone. But ah, it's, it's very choppy. It's not like it's very bullish either. It's just just playing around. A closure back in the zone normally happens when there's a huge amount of um pr pressure from one side. 20 pips secured, thanks Max. All good, all good, all good. Really, really good work there. Well done for some people that who held. Well done for people that managed risk for me here. I did really, really good there. And again, zero drawdown. But do you see? Uh, Phoenix have actually been taking trades left, right, and center. Yeah, and he's in some drawdown on all of them, isn't he? Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, you've just got to be a little bit cautious with Goldie. But in terms of break even, you have to be break even at that high. You have to. If you're not break even at that high, you are physically retarded. GJ yesterday, gold today. Have a word with your balls, Max. Bring the confidence back. Steve-O, I took a fucking beautiful GJ trade yesterday. I'm sticking my rules, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not holding that. Not once in my simulation have I hold stop loss above 50%. So I will not be doing it here. I will not be doing it here. So looking like kind of rejecting double top, looking like it's forming. So yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen so Raji closes half when it comes back to positions. Yeah, I never really did that. On, on the Sims, I mean... For me, if it comes back to my entry after, I, it loses. he loses the trade. That's what I've seen. So I'd rather just get out of break even than take the L. Know what I mean? What's Phoenix stops like? 40 pip stops. Things gonna close half though. That little thing close full. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that is genuinely how I enter salaries, right? Break at a high, you get the push. When you get the push, go break even, and then you're good. Lord Bank took the same trade as you and stopped our break even. Who's Lord Bank? Who the fuck is that guy? Lord Bank. Ah. I don't like I don't like judging a book by its cover, but the name the name the name does does spark some red flags. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Jeez. What up, fan? Hey, thanks for the likes, guys. If you made some money with me today, make sure you hit that oh, baby for the shares. <laughs> Shit, he's, re he's vibing in the background. What's that music on? Nice action structure. Yeah. You can see my profits on the screen. Subscriber only mode. No red flags, good guy. Him. Yeah, he looks, looks like him. a good guy now. Jeez, I just don't like. I just don't like people's names when it's anything to do with like money or something. It's like, oh, fucking, can you not be original? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's quite, it's quite, and actually, it's it's it's, it's, it's a bad stigma, but it, but it's true, right? The people that I fuck with are like, you know, Don. Don Vo, it's just, it's just his, you know, it's just his cool name. It's nothing to do with fucking money or capital or FX or this fucking bullshit. Um, Wicks don't lie. Silence in the markets. Um, who's your one? Ten pips daily. Like, you know what I mean? Just names that are actually about trading, not just fucking stupid just red warning signs. But anyway, cool stuff. Very, very nice. Um... Danny stock breeding today. Mm. 
So, billionaire, mega trader, super messiah. You don't recommend that, Max. <laughs> <laughs> One break in for me, cheers for the stream. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. We did get very, very close. I mean, how far do we get? Yeah, like there. Look at the fire. Beautiful, beautiful. Um Pip Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pip Daddy. So yeah, we'll see how this closes in 30 minutes time. It's looking like it is making a double top over here. So if you guys if you guys did take my trade and did hold, but then held further for this wick, then you are you are seamlessly retarded. Because what you had over here is time. So so I actually said before, I might hold it if it breaks this high. Like if it proper breaks it. As you can see over here, we came up to the high and this candle closed weak bullish and then broke the low. So what I would do in that instance, if you did want to hold in case it just breaks the high and fucking launches, is wait for the one minute to close. It closed bullish. Yeah, you could break the high. When it breaks the low there, then close because it could be rejected. So they, you know, in terms of that, you could be still taking. Yeah, you'd miss like maybe four pips in the move, but it means you can maybe get the break if it wants to start to fucking drive. So. Mm. So yeah, GG over here, coming back above. Clean candles to the left and side there on the 30 minute time frame. Just no direction. For me, if there's no direction and there's clean candles, I know that I can push in that area nicely. Because look, every single time you push nicely in this area, there and there and there, it's good. It pushes nicely. It's just when there's no direction, I worry that we can just hover in the zone. And I, I want volume. I want breaking of zones or closing back in zones. Because you normally get the big volume there. 86 likes, guys. Make sure to like the stream. Let's try and get 100 likes. But yeah, all good, all good stuffs. Down, 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 down. More good gold buys in 30 minute closure? Question mark. I don't know. It's a hard one. 30 minutes closed. It's just rejected them highs, though, man. And also, you need to remember where the reje where the highs rejected. 1960. Big psychological level. So, yeah, and I gave it an opportunity. You know, I don't I don't normally like buying the highs, but that was quite a quite a chill example there. Have a price buy stop at the break of the hourly highs. Maybe. Where would your stops be? Previous 30 minute low. Sorry, current 30 minute low. Yeah, you could do. So your stop would be 18 pips. Current 30 stop. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Because we do have a 30 closure above. I just don't want to get in too early. I'd rather just get a drive again. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the break of the highs is going to be it's going to be good. And I'll just use, yeah, current candle stops. We could actually use previous, to be honest. On the 15. So yeah, break of the hourly highs, going to use current candle stops. See what we can get over here. I put it a little bit higher up just so we can actually break the levels. Going to like 088 like there. So yeah, obviously this candle I expect now to drive. Break the high of the previous hourly, continue, and I'll use current candle stops there for the push. If we break previous 50 minute low, then I'm just going to take it off. Max, do you have a degree? Yes. Degree in maths and finance. Um, 
GJ come back down, whatever, whatever, whatever. Where's the stop max of your current candle low? Sorry, sorry. Previous 30, 30 minute candle. Actually, is it? No, sorry. It would be current candle low, yeah. Current candle low. Whatever that is. So, whatever this, whenever this low. It, I kind of want this candle to go retest there first, then break the high, because that's a nice stop there, 957. Do, do, do. GJ, EJ. So, yeah, GJ is probably just going to sit around in this area now until this news comes out at 12 o'clock. So, make sure to be ready for that. Also, at 12 o'clock, what's happening is the simulation's coming out. So, make sure to go watch that. You guys, maybe at the weekend. Fifteen minute looks sus. Let's take a look. Yeah. We'll see. Does that degree bring any value for Forex trade? 100%. It, it helps me. I took a lot of stats modules. And stats is everything for trading. So, yeah, the stats part has helped a lot. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, statistics and just, just, just basically a, a, a longer perspective of data. Like, you know, don't get vexed about one day about trading. You know, it's about doing it consistently again and again every single day for the next year. And how many times you're going to win? How many times you're going to lose? You need to remember, bad trades can still win as well, and you need to distinguish between them. So, having a, a perspective, a, a long, longer term perspective. Um, it helps you get out of that focus mindset on just that one trade and just looking at the whole process as a whole. I'm going to apply quantitative finance UK. No idea. No idea, idea. Gold's probably going to range the next four hour. Potentially, potentially. So, if I get into this trade, it'd be the break of the 30 minute highs, the hourly highs, the four hour highs, and the daily highs. So, it's got all of the combination, which is good. And a clean zone above. So, so that's why I'm kind of still intrigued with it. When we look at the simulations, when you get the break of the highs, you do get a nice, a nice drive. If you get them simultaneously driving, breaking them at the exact same time, it's 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 a good sign. It's a good sign. But yeah, that trade before the break-even trade, smashing trade though, zero drawdown, straight into profit. That's what you want. Um, really, really cracking. Current one hour candle or 30 minute candle stops? Aren't they the same thing? I oh, know, let's take a look. No, current, current 30 minute candle stops, yeah. Current 30 minute candle stops is what I would use. So we came back to retest that level, which is what we expect with salaries. We always talk about that with Bry. Uh, Max, was it Res 1960? I think I looked over and I didn't. Let's take a look. To be honest with you, it's not really about the res. No, so for me here, the resistance is there. This is where price rejects. Yeah, there's maybe a wick there, but that's to 964, so. It is all good. Oh. 
Um, so yeah, yesterday we didn't actually do the simulation because I lost my eyesight and I felt like ass. Does anyone get that when they get dehydrated? Yeah, so this 30 minutes close above, so I like that. Um, does anyone get that where you're, you don't like drink or anything and you, st you start to feel your eyesight go and you, can f you get a bit of a headache and you can't fucking see, you get blurred vision? Oh, it's so annoying, I've had it since I was like 13. I haven't had it recently though, so that was the first time in a while. I can feel it coming on, I'm like, whoa. I'm literally walking around like, like guys, sorry, I'm gonna have to wait 15 minutes because there's no point in me looking at a chart because I can barely fucking see the screen. Or in this case, why do you not take the buy off the flip of the candle? Is that a precaution in case it continues to drive down and not break the high? Yes. It's because we're at a high, right? We're at, we're at, the, at the, the, the most highest of the highs in recent times. Now, the reason why I like it is because the left-hand side is very clean above. However, just like what we took before, I was taking the celery pair, I was taking the break of the high. And normally, when you get the break of the highs, you get, you get the push, you get the drive at least. So, if I get the flip in any of these highs, you can see there was actually a flip before. Someone asked about, oh, Max, I want to get this flip over here. And you would have got fucking clotted. You need to need to remember, if you're at the highs, best to wait for a drive and a break of the highs right at the high, like at the wicks and the break of the previous candle highs, than getting in on the flips, because the flips may never hit the high. And then the, the issue you have with taking buys at highs, which is, what I, which is why I'm always cautious on, is if they reject, they reject hard. You can't manage risk and you will get clotted. You will get hit real bad. Like you'll you'll lose your full your full trade. So getting the break of the high normally tends to happen is if like if you're looking at the 30 minute here or the hourly. If we break those these highs over here, I'm gonna at least get a push to there. And when I get a push to there, I go break even. If price wants to nut, then great, I've got the whole move. If price wants to tap me out of break even then that's also good so it's just kind of like getting it's it's, it's a it's a it's a way of getting me into a trade without a, much of a precaution of taking drawdown and just getting the break even just just exactly what i did before on that celery play i took that celery play and went to break even after 14 pips because i don't want the drawdown i know it just tapped me out and oh boohoo you know people care about that but realistically i i wanted if you actually heard me i probably said as well when I take this break of the high, I can go break even very quickly, and then we can be hunky dory. It's basically you need to remember the most important part of trading is having break evens, right? Being able to have a zero drawdown trade, no no losses, zero drawdowns, rarely seeing reds on your screen. Why? Because it boosts confidence, it boosts morale. Obviously, good, gives you good good capital as well because you're not taking L's. So. If you can get a trade where you've got into profit and normally it does hit TP and it hits break even, that's fine. If I did that trade a thousand times, I'd probably hit quite a lot of the times. I'd still lose no money. Whereas the times where I didn't put break even, I would have lost a couple of them and I don't want to lose. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So coming back down over here. Stop loss is 20 pips. Uh, stop loss would be at the moment, no, like 33, 34. It's be quite big. Max, you trade NY? Yep, I trade NY every single day with the mentorship group. Over 100, 112 people, 113 people, I think, or so at the moment. Um, yeah, trade NY with it with the mentorship, and then we do a simulation straight after. So it's a full day's work. It's a full day's work. I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't fuck around with you guys. But yeah, really, really good question there, Rogerio. Good stuff, good stuff. Let me actually write that one down as well because that was a great little conversation. Fucking, I've got a lot of clips to go and edit today. <laughs> so, 50 minute broke the low, starting to reject now. 30 minutes going to come down. The hourly's rejecting. Interesting. Stop loss is getting. Way too big now for me, I think, in terms of taking the break of the high. So if I got the break of the high here, my stop loss is going to be like 38 pips. And I just want a little drive, you know. Um, so it's not looking too good. I'll wait until this 15 closes and then we'll um, probably delete buy stops over here. I wonder how Phoenix is going to manage risk. Oh, I think he already has. Mm, 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, yes, yeah, 23 pips. Um. So yeah, coming down over here, I don't really like it now. We have another drive starting to reject, so I'm just going to delete my buy stop over here. Oh wow, a lot of the mentorship group got the uh, hold of the trade. Nice work, nice work. But yeah, in terms of in terms of today, so yeah, I've deleted the buy stop. Let's just make sure I have over here. Yeah, delete the buy stop. So in terms of today, what do we check? Well, we look for clean zones in areas, and we executed. We got into some profit, um, but yeah, we couldn't really close what we wanted there, which is fine. Um, but it comes to the same thing again. What did we do this morning? We looked at the charts, we look where the clean candles are. For me, GJ, there was wasn't really much apart from maybe that closure there, but that was at six o'clock. I was still fucking cockeyed there. I was still half asleep. Um so that's fine. In terms of Goldie, the Goldie, the zone above we found was very nice and clean. Got the closure, took the trade in the celery, but we were very, very patient. Um but literally every single day we found clean zones, we waited for the clean zones, and then we've executed on them. So really, really good stuff already this month really, really happy with that i think we're gonna break the highs first then later the asian lows yeah do, do, do. Okay, um, the key issue with gold is that it could be a, at medium term highs and at any time could see a major correction. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I hope my gold buys stop loss doesn't get hit. Oh god, are you still holding buys? Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah, GJ is going to range until 12 o'clock it looks like guys. Um, but that is all Gucci. Really, really solid work there. So let's update the journal. Oh, it's not that one, is it? Yeah, it is. Let's update the journal. We took this trade. Look at that cent in the mentorship as well. We took it at 8.03. Time on stream. Oh, shit. I need to do that as well. I think it was 8.03 yesterday as well. Let me take a look. Yeah, so two 8 o'clock trades. Very, very nice. 8 o'clock starting to come back. It's funny how that gap's there. Like, 9 o'clock has been good for a while. And now back on track over here. Goldie, buy. Se Breakout, celery play, 30-minute time frame. Stop loss is... Stop loss was 25 pips. Um, goes full at zero, zero. Can you explain the dynamics still tops? All it is is that price makes a resistance, price comes back to the resistance and holds it. That's all it is. Yeah.
Very, very nice. Um, have a good one, Max. See you. See you later, Dennis and Man. Um, probably going to break the highs and lows. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to see. Can you explain GJ News today and how it impact? Yeah, so interest rates are going to come out. So right here. So the bank rate is expected to put up 50 base points. In terms of that, that's to manage inflation. And you'll normally see a big move on the G G GBP pairs. So, um, yeah. When price goes up in terms of inf in terms of the, the bank rates, um, GJ should push. Because of the fact that um, they're trying to reduce inflation. Inflation is, is weakening of, of, of the... Um, of the currency so if they're doing something that's going to weaken sorry that's going to strengthen the currency it's going to it's going to push them up so yeah gj should kind of continue here do you use five minute yeah i do on on gold east and then some five minute trend lines yeah Max using digital magic keys yes digital magic keys suits so for me i put it next to my screen here and it works like a tree it's great it's bloody beautiful Digital, digital magic, magic keys are the one. Do you prefer physical or on screen? I, I've never done the physical ones. I have on screen and it works a treat. Don't have to charge it either. It's just there. Load it up. So I don't know why I'd want the input, the hardware one, to be honest. But if you guys do want to get magic keys, make sure to use my link. It's just SLM. Stop loss my matters. Magic keys. Stop plus matters. Yeah, I changed it, which is pretty cool. Kind of happy about I did that. Um, How much risk per trade do you recommend with this strategy? 1.4%, I'd say, on average. 1.4% is pretty good. Yeah. On a funded challenge, yeah. As long as you can stick with the, stick with the program, 30-minute closures and stuff, yeah. Okay, so it is 8.51. What we're going to do now is maybe play a game of Wordle. Um, and then, yeah, relax a bit over here, guys. Gold is holding well on that support. Yeah, but it's, it's it should have it pushed with that 8 o'clock, man. It got back to the high, which is nice, but it's not in my, not in my trade. Hmm. Hmm, I need some look at EJ, let's take a look. Oh my god, yeah, some news that came out. There's the Euro news coming out. Spanish unemployment change plus 70k. Oh. Seventy thousand unemployed. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good. Jake recommend any risk calc I generally just think you should use magic keys. Yeah. In a, on the computer. Gold dropping. Yep. Yeah, I'll just come back in that range. Probably range a little bit longer. Sells below 1949 later on would be beautiful. Yeah, risk management calculator. To be fair, I just kind of did it myself back in the day when I had no magic keys. But 
There's this there's, there's one on um what's it called? My FX book, isn't it? All of the fucking vowels are gone. A E and an I. Okay. And use there as well. Baby, baby Pips one's got one as well. So yeah, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Yeah, GJ come back up. As I said, though, I mean to be fair, the zone above isn't bad, but as you know, for me, it's getting way too close to news, right? I remember in 2008, like 20% employment. 20%? That's a huge amount. Why is it? Why is Spain struggling? What's 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 the issue? Normally, when a, a, a well, normally when a country is like left behind and stuff, it's normally because of war or like confrontations in their place. But what's happened in Spain to like make them just so like behind? Can anyone help me out here? My god. I just said magic keys on back order, right? I think the, the hardware ones, but if you get the if you get the on screen ones, you get it in like 30 seconds. I know there's no E, but I'm just trying to get some on the board here. Okay. Man, people here in Spain are too lazy and with low productivity. To be fair, man, there's siestas, man. It gets too hot, man. <laughs> okay, there's an I in the middle of it. Do you need to pee, bro? Yeah, it was on my mind. <laughs> was on my mind <laughs> what the fuck I just don't know what else to put on here closure below 1955 ah, I think it's lost its juice I'm honest If I'm honest. Um, let's take a look. So, yeah, I think it's just hovering right now. And he also remember as well, goal is probably going to move a little bit with uh, GJ as well. So, and that is in like three hours time. That is the gap as well. So I do expect, you know, ranging. But if you guys have done, re if you guys have not taken an L this week and you've been really, really consistent with that and you've been chilling around, I think you've done a really, really good job for me. One win, two break evens. Um... And with a with a with a with a sorry morning like this, with a week with all that news, man, I will take that any day. I'll take my little one percent for the week. Think we have resistance for NY? Maybe that's good. Yep. Yeah, hopefully, obviously, when this news comes down, then maybe we can take some nice gold trades. If we get gold sells below, actually, I'm going to put an alert on already. So yeah, this is my day off from gymming. So I'm going to go to the gym though, but I'm going to go to the spa and stick in there for a couple hours. Gonna go in the sauna for 30 minutes, I think. So yeah, I'll have a lit on there just in case we get down. Because this will be clean 
to push later on. And the amount of times I back tested this where price like launched up and then we made a support and then broke the support, you always get some pips out of it. Sometimes the whole move, sometimes just to the next support. But you always get a nice push, which is great. Is anyone going to help me with this bloody word or are you guys all fucking dyslexic? <laughs> I just don't know what's there. There's a H in it as well. Fuck. Blind. Nah, there's an, there's an, there's an N. It's hard, man. We're on 99 likes as well, guys. One more like. We get 100 likes. Yeah, what the fuck? This is hard, this one, man. This is hard. I suck at that game, bro. <laughs> and the 100 like. Very nice. Very nice. There's 105 likes. Wicked stuff. So yeah, even though there's no W today, you know, we got very close to one. We could have closed maybe a little bit early, but for me, it was, you know, the wick fill was the one. Back to the body highs. It did do it eventually. Just literally the second after it took us out. Um, but in terms of that, I mean, in the past 13 trades that we've talked about, they've all worked out. Some of them were break even, but we're still on a nine win streak. Nine consecutive, obviously one break even in the middle, two break in the middles, but the rest all break even. Sorry, so all winners there. Um, so yeah, we're on some roll right now, which is good. And basically just tightening things up a little bit here. Those two hours made me realize I need to just fucking focus more. Um, and yeah, bashed them all out. Made 10% for last month, which is great. Already up about 1.2, I think. One point, no, 1 1.6, I think, for this month. So a good start. Uh, but yeah, I think we're all struggling here on, the, on there. So... I'll leave it off over here, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Hope you have a great day. Make sure you stay patient. Wait until that news comes out. Um, and then hopefully NY session will have some good trades. If you do want to join the NY session, make sure you join the mentorship there. Also full of homeworks, webinars. You know the score. Um, you know where to come. If you guys have any questions about it as well, make sure you just message me on Instagram. And um, see you later, guys. Adios amigos. Oh, bitch. Let's see. No, there's no C. Ah, it's fucking hard, man. But yeah. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Peace out. See you later, Michael. See you later, everyone. See you later. See you later, hey, you later my man. See you later, everyone. Bye. bye, 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 bye. See you later, Tommy boy. See you later, guys. Adios, adios. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. And peace out.